Welcome friends, it's Gail here. When showing how to create this heirloom reverse napkin ornament, we'll be answering this question. How do I add a picture on a napkin to the back of my ornament? If you do not have a napkin picked out already, we like to go to decoupagenapkins.com. They have a wide variety of napkins. We specifically like to look for cocktail napkins because those are five inches and you're looking for an image that's more centered and smaller so it will fit in a four inch circle. If you'd like to use this gnome napkin, we have a direct link in our description below. So you can click on description and more, scroll down and find all the links to the products that we use. Here's an example of how the gnomes will look shining through the ornament that we bought at Hobby Lobby. We start by cutting out one image. Remove the white napkin layers beneath the image. We peel off the extra layers of napkin beneath the image so only the image is showing. Otherwise, if you add the other napkin layers when you're decoupaging, it can gap and wrinkle. Trace and cut out a four inch circle out of the napkin. We like to use balloon size measurement tools that you can buy at the Dollar Tree that range from two to 10 inches. This is a four inch template that we're placing over the image to center it. We use a brush and water to trace around the tiplet and then we tear it out. Paint one side of the ornament with Mod Podge and apply the image face down. We tear off two pieces of wax paper. To help keep our ornament in place, we're placing it inside a bowl that's covered with wax paper. We use gloss Mod Podge and a sponge brush to apply glue to one side of the ornament. The key is to apply the Mod Podge evenly. Reverse the image and glue it down on the ornament. Turn the image upside down and carefully place it on the glue. Put a piece of wax paper on top to help smooth it out. The napkin's very fragile, so the wax paper helps to smooth it out. You can also use saran wrap for this part. Let dry for 30 minutes. Apply Mod Podge to the back of the image. This step is very important because you want to create a protective barrier between the paint and the image. The Mod Podge helps create that barrier so the acrylic paint does not seep through. When finished, allow it to dry for 30 minutes or longer. Meanwhile, create paper clay snowflakes for the border. During the times we're allowing the Mod Podge and the paint layers to dry, we can create a clay border by using snowflakes. This snowflake mold works really well with paper clay. First, we coat it with vegetable oil. We take the clay, roll it between our fingers to make it smooth, then place it inside the molds and really press down hard to get it all the way out to the sides. We like to use the back of our fingernails to clear off the backing, then turn the mold over and carefully flip the snowflakes out. We used only one of the molds and we made 13 snowflakes for the border. Use Mod Podge or Tight Bomb Multi-Surface Glue to glue the snowflakes onto the ornament. We use Mod Posh to glue on our snowflakes, even though it requires a little bit more patience than using tight bond multi-surface glue. The good news about using Mod Posh is it's easier to clean up and you can clean it up as you go, where if you use tight bond, you wanna clean it up right away. Just line them up on the borders and spread them out so there's six on the side and one ends up on the bottom. Then apply the remaining six snowflakes. Use gesso or white acrylic paint and paint the back of the image two to three times. We are using gesso to paint the back of the ornament. The downside to using gesso is it has a tendency to crack if it's too thick when applying it to a rounded surface. However, it does cover better than acrylic paints. If you use gesso, you only have to paint it twice. If you use acrylic white paint, we recommend painting it three times. Allow a half hour to dry between each coat. Paint over the white paint with an acrylic paint color three times. Just like we did with the white paint, we're painting over the back with a red paint three times so that way it has a really nice coverage and you can't see the white through it. It doesn't matter if it's gloss or matte if you're going to add the glossy finish with this later, otherwise you might want to use a gloss now. Just like before, allow it to dry 30 minutes in between each coat. 
Apply three more different clay snowflakes to the back of the ornament. We wanted to make the back of our ornament look a little bit more ornate. We created three more snowflakes using all three snowflake molds this time and glued them on the back with Mod Podge. Paint the snowflakes with an acrylic wash. We are applying a denim blue matte acrylic paint over the snowflakes. We're mixing the paint with a little water to create a wash so that it brings out the details in the snowflakes. If you don't like this color, you could also use brown, black, red, or another color. Turn the ornament cap and glue it on with Mod Podge. We like to take the ornament cap off, apply a glue around the top of the neck, place it back on, and turn it a quarter turn. Apply glass bead acrylic medium to the front edge, side snowflakes, and back. We splattered white paint with a stippling brush on the front edge. However, we could have used a toothbrush. Another way to do this is to add the acrylic bead medium first and paint white specks on top of the glass beads. We use Liquitex glass beads acrylic medium for this process. Using a brush, we paint the glass beads on the front, over the white speckled paint, over the snowflakes, and on the back. We cover everything with a generous coat. Now this looks white and looks kind of scary. However, after 24 hours, it will dry clear. It might look kind of shiny on the back, so you might choose just to do this on the snowflakes if you want your red back to be more of a matte color. We're going to add some other colors on top of it once we finish. We painted our cap with glass beads as well. Allow this step to dry for 12 to 24 hours. Lightly brush over the red paint and cap with silver and gold acrylic paint. We are mixing silver and gold acrylic paint and painting it heavier around the snowflakes and the edge of the red. The silver and gold paints gradually become more red towards the center of the back. The cool thing about using silver and gold paint on top of the gold beads is it really makes them stand out and gives it a nice texture. Lightly brush over the snowflakes with mostly silver acrylic paint. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. With your support, we'd like to continue creating inspiring videos about ornaments, wreaths, and holiday decor. As for this last step, lightly brush over the snowflakes with mostly silver paint. And here's our finished ornament. Here are more ornament DIYs that might strike your interest. Thanks for watching.